So the remains of the Democratic Republic of Congo's first Prime Minister Patrice Lumumba have been laid to rest at a grand ceremony in the capital Kinshasa. A tooth believed to be Lumumba's only remains was buried more than 60 years after his assassination. Officials held him as a nationalist who helped end Belgian colonial rule. SABC's Chris Ochamringa has more on that. A state funeral accorded to Congolese independence hero Patrice Emery Lumumba. The ceremony was held on the DRC's 62nd independence anniversary. Congolese dignitaries, diplomats and the president of neighboring Congo Brazzaville joined President Felix Chisekedi to pay their respects. Patrice Emery Lumumba a été un humaniste irréductible. Patrice Lumumba was a humanist who paid the ultimate sacrifice for his country. He did so at a time when it was considered suicidal to speak out against the abuses committed by the Belgium colonialists. He was exceptional in trying to change the colonial order. Patrice Lumumba became the DRC's first prime minister in 1960, but he was assassinated in 1961 by separatists backed by Belgian mercenaries for his anti-colonial stance. His body was dismembered and dissolved in acid. His tooth is believed to be all that's left. It was recently handed back to his family by the Belgian government. We want the relics of other politicians who are killed with Lumumba to be produced and brought back home. I really doubt whether Lumumba was killed in the manner that we have been told. In 2002, Belgium admitted responsibility for its part in Lumumba's killing. That led some Congolese citizens to call on Belgium to compensate Lumumba's family. For us, the most important thing was What's really important is that the historical truth about our father's death is told. The return of his remains is what we have been demanding, and now he can rest in peace. The return of Lumumba's remains has come after the visit of Belgium's King Philip earlier in June. The king expressed his deepest regrets for the colonial-era abuses committed by his ancestors. The burial of the relic of Patrice Lumumba marks the end of three days of national mourning. It's a very significant event for millions of Congolese who believe that the soul of their independence hero will now rest in peace in his homeland. Chris Sochamringa, SABC.